Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And tonight we will speak about a new experiment. As I have not lot of time this day to to make all my experiment, I decided to come back on an old one to try to understand how the coupling is between this cacher and uh, the outside of this cacher. It can be perhaps probably very useful for the Smith, Don Smith experiment and all other experiments I am trying now to do. Okay, this is uh, uh, the old experiment. Uh, this is a proposition of Mr. Snell here, which proposed to make a flat cacher. But this time the lamp will be lit without any outside uh, uh, lead. It is, a, it is a, a loop, a loop of soft steel wire, completely and simple loop. No other antenna, no other earth, no other connection to the minus. Okay. I will just show you for the interested uh, where I put the scope probe. The probe scope are not grounded and there are no contact, not direct contact because the uh, voltage is very high. Okay, so don't really like exactly what we, we show on the scope, but uh, uh, the wave will be correct. Right, okay, this is a small circuit and some description of the coils for the interested replicator eventually. Okay, let's go to the reality now. And we have this uh, flat uh, exciter here. This is the circuits. I use on these circuits uh, two transistors in parallel MJA13009 and connected to so the base of this transistor is connected to the here four. Um, 680 ohms, it is about 2.7 kilo ohms. A mighty resistor because I use these circuits for other purpose also. But tonight it's not a problem. You will see here now the bulb here, the bulb which is connected here to this very thin wire. It is a soft steel wire. A loop, only one loop, no coil, only one loop. It is not finished here, as you can see. It is not completely closed. And I put it inside the exciter here. Alright? And for tonight, I will not put a lot of power. I will put a very low power, 12 volt only. Let's go. Okay, we see the amp is 0 0.11 amps. Okay, and the lamp is there. Okay, these are small lamps. Now, if I take out the loop, it quits. If I put the loop inside, it comes very... Mm hmm. You see I have here the scope shot of channel uh, 2, uh, 1, and here is a Scope shot on fire tool. This is the output of the cacher. Don't touch it. Okay? And it works. Now if you see on the scope, you have the two trays here. And you see that we are working about in complete uh, accordance with uh, channel 1 and 2. So the coupling between the coil, secondary, and the loop is the same and is at uh, 1.1 uh, and something more megahertz. Hmm. I would be very interested to know how it is possible to couple here. It is probably not stray capacitance this time. But what it is? Is it scalar wave? It is something relative to Don Smith and uh, Zilano or uh, other experiments. Okay, if you have some idea, I will be very happy. Thanks for watching. Good night at all.